Hello! In this video, we will see how to create new custom parameters and add information to any kind of geometry object in the model. VisualArc adds BIM features to Rhino by providing parametric objects that already contain information that we can list afterwards. For example, in the case of this wall, we can check out its parameters and we can quantify, for example, the amount of uh, volume, area, length, thickness, the style of the, of the wall, existing walls in the model, and so forth. But can we create new parameters besides the existing ones or assign them to not only visual objects but meshes, polar surfaces, surfaces or curves? The answer is yes, and we will see how to do it. From the Visual Arc Tools toolbar, we can open the Rhino document properties, add this parameters section that Visual Arc provides, from where we can create new custom parameters. So we click on Add button. Here we type, for example, a new parameter like uh, price, assign it to a specific category, for example, general, and we can give a specific data type, in this case, currency. We repeat the process to create a new parameter, for example, file rating, assign it to general as well, and click OK. And finally, we create a third parameter called material, in this case, we will assign it to a new category called physical and the data type text, for example. We say OK. And these parameters are stored by document and can be assigned to any kind of geometry object. We click OK. And now, when we select any kind of entity, for example, this open surface, from this eye icon in the Rhino Properties panel, we can assign that information for this uh, document parameter. For example, we can say that material is water. Or we can select this polar surface and here assign a different value, like soil. The information of these custom parameters and their values are stored in the geometry when we need to export this model to IFC. But new parameters can be also assigned by style in case of visual objects. For example, if we want to assign a specific parameter to this kind of door style or this other one, we do right click to open its styles dialog. And here from the parameters, we can create a new uh, parameter that will apply only to that uh, door style. So we'll click more button, and we can create a new parameter, for example, called manufacturer. assign it to a specific category and say OK. We can assign also one of the parameters created by document to that style. For example, for rating we can say this is 50 minutes, while this other style it's only 30 minutes. So now when we select any of these objects and we check its properties. Here under the common parameters we can see the value assigned by a style but we can also overwrite it with a new value. Also new parameters can be created by a specific object individually. So in this case we should select specific object, click here and create a new parameter, for example private node. we can assign to a different category. Now, when it comes to list this information in tables, we show all the model back again, and here from the documentation toolbar, we do right click on the table icon to open the table styles, and here we can change any of the existing styles or create a new one in this case, we will edit this table style and edit the information we want to show. We will change that for doors. So here, under the types, we will select the object type it refers to. So we will uncheck Opening in Windows. 
just notice that we could select, we could include any kind of geometry type like poly surfaces, extrusions, meshes or blocks here in the list of objects to quantify but in this case we just leave the door now we can right click on that style's name to add a new property field that we will call file rating and here under the source tab we need to specify the object type that we want to list and here the corresponding parameter just notice that that those parameters added by document will appear here in the in the list besides the existing properties or parameter of a door we select file rating and click OK now we insert a table for listing the doors of this model so we select the table style for doors we make a full selection that will filter all the objects that are doors and finally insert it in the model so we can see here all the information including those doors that uh, had the fire rating parameter with, with some information fulfilled